Alright, so as promised, even though I'm feeling sick, I wanted to come through for you guys. Um, I have quite a few things over the last probably three weeks to month that I've been kind of accumulating. Um, so I'll have another haul probably after this one. Um, but one of the things that I was really excited to get, um, Urban Decay has always been like one of my absolute favorite brands. Um, trying to think. I think when Sephora first opened, in San Jose where I used to live, I went in and got Asphyxia and, um, oh, I can't think of what it's called right now, the black eyeshadow with the sparkles in it. Um, and I love Asphyxia. It's been one of my favorites. The black one's not too bad either. Anyway, I went and got the, I went and got, I ordered from, um, Ulta, the Book of Shadows. Um, this is the, the second one. So in here has the little mirror and the booklet, which I was kind of disappointed in the booklet. Um, it pulls out of here. And I thought it was going to have looks and like tell you how to recreate them, and it's more just like a little book that has looks in it, but it doesn't tell you anything about them. So that's kind of a bummer, but whatever. Um, the drawer on this one, as people have said, is much easier to pull out than the first one. Um, and this one I like too, that it comes with um, brown and black, or bourbon and zero, the 24-7 liners. And it also comes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion, which I have so many samples of this now. Um, I depotted the original one I bought, and it's lasted me like a year and a half. But here's the colors. Um, I'm not going to swatch these. There's plenty of other people who've done it, and I'm kind of late on the bandwagon. But the colors are gorgeous. Um, Perversion is the only same one that came in this box. The only disappointment for me is a lot of the colors are still pretty similar. Um, some of the neutrals are kind of similar to the first one, um, but I still love the idea that I can take this with me on vacation and have, you know, a bunch of bright colors, a bunch of neutrals. I can do just about any look with this. Um, so this one has like a teal, um, a, a darker blue, the green. Um, this is a really pretty, like, kind of darkish green. It has your neutrals, it has like a pink, and then it has all these really pretty shades of purple up here, like a grayish purple. I'm actually wearing Ecstasy, this bright purple here, the second one, and then also um, the dark green here, which is called Misdemeanor. It's kind of like a tealy, bluish green. Anyway, let me show you and see if it comes out on camera. Um, this was my look for today. So, I don't know. I thought they were pretty together, the purple with the green. My lighting is not great. Anyhow, okay, so that's that. And then, I, just for comparison, I have the other one with me. Um, but like I was saying, some of the colors are kind of similar. So maybe you'll see it, maybe you won't. Let me pull up the other drawer again. Specifically, the greens, um, Absinthe and the first one, and Homegrown. They're kind of similar. And like I said, some of the neutrals are kind of similar. Um, those greens down on the bottom. So this is this is the first one over here, and this is the second one. So yeah, I don't know. I still think it's a really great deal for the price. Um, these are 48. Uh, they don't sell the first one anymore, but I got mine for I don't know. I had a 25 dollar gift certificate, so it was a lot cheaper than that. And then as always, I order from Ulta online because I love the samples you get. So I got um, a sample of Smashbox Lash DNA. I got a sample of Vera Wang Rock Princess, which I have not tried yet. Um, I got a sample of Dolce & Gabbana perfume, some Murad um, eye cream, and then at the time, if you bought anything from Urban Decay, you also got to pick a free 24-7 pencil. So this one is in Covet. Um, you didn't get to pick the color, you just got to pick that you got one. So um, I already have Covet, but I like the color. I love their 24-7 pencils, I think they're amazing. So that was my haul from Ulta. Um, I'm going to be taking probably one of the books to Vegas with me. I have to pick which one. But um, the other thing I got um, a long time ago, Smashbox, or Smashbox, Hard Candy used to be carried at Sephora. Um, and they discontinued it. And now Sephora, Sephora, Hard Candy has the Walmart line that everybody's been talking about. So I went and checked that out. Um, I picked up the Lime Green Nail Polish, which is really, oh, there's a hair, really sparkly kind of and they have the little rings that come with them. And I picked up this one, which is like a purple color that has kind of greenish sparkles in it. Let's see. There we go. 
That one's really pretty. I haven't used them yet because I've been doing orange for Halloween. Um, I picked up one of the volumizing lip glosses. It's kind of like a brownie peachy color, like a nude. I like this a lot. I love, the smell's pretty good. And it does a little bit of plumping without burning. Um, it smells very like vanilla cotton candy-ish. Um, I picked up one of the lipsticks, which I have on right now. Just kind of a nude basic color. I really like these, and I like the packaging. And you pull out the little guy right here. But I'm always worried if I pull too hard, the lipstick's going to like hit the corner and ruin it. Um, but that's what that looks like. It's a really pretty color. Um, and again, this one smells like, kind of like MAC perfume, like, or MAC perfume, MAC uh, lip gloss. It says little peace signs all over it. It's really cute. And then the last thing I picked up I absolutely hate, and I was trying to figure out if Walmart had a return policy on makeup or not. Um, I wanted to like this so bad because it's so cute. The little box comes with the doll on it, and then you pull the lip balm out. Um, that's what it looks like. This one's, um, oh, what's her name? Elise. But anyway, this stuff sucks. Um, you pull off the cap and it looks like that. It looks like it should just be a lip balm. But it's one of those ones where when you put it on, it never comes out even. It has the streaks in it. Every time you move, it leaves streaks. And so you cannot get this to look even on your lips. Um, I've tried it even with my fingertip and that really doesn't work very well. So it's supposed to be a moisturizing lip balm and it's a moisturizing suck-ass tube of crap. So. I don't know if I should just throw it away or maybe if I use it as a base and then put something over it. I don't know, but I hate it. Um, and I feel mad that I bought it because it was a waste of money. And like, I don't even know where the receipt would be now. It's been almost a month. So that was disappointing. Do not buy the lip balms. They're crap. Um, I want to try some of the other stuff, but I haven't gotten around to going back. And I don't know if the Walmart where I live is going to have like crazy people bum rushing the, you know, Thing and it'll never be stocked again so um, I'm happy with what I got so far I'll probably try some other stuff in the future but I'm kind of getting to a point where I'm like I have a decent amount of makeup not nearly as much as some people but it's like how much do you really need you know I like trying new things but I'm like I have a whole thing of lipstick I never use so why do I need to go buy more and if I have like 10 15 different types of nail polish I don't need to have one in every single color and one from every single brand. So I don't know. I'm having a hard time rationalizing that. And I, I think part of it too is that, you know, um, when I lived at home and even when I was younger and I was on my own, I didn't hesitate to spend money on things. But now that I'm older, it's like, you know, that's a phone bill or that's, you know, I just spent, you know, half of my rent or whatever the case might be. So it's harder for me to justify that kind of stuff. Um, I think I like a little bit of everything, but I can't justify having like this massive collection of things I don't use. So, um, and I've gotten pretty bad about the lush stuff right now too. So I'm trying to be more practical-minded. Um, but on the other the other hand, I'm going to show you a bunch of stuff I just bought, like clothing and stuff like that. So stay tuned. Um, I have another haul for you guys. I'm such a hypocrite. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And again, thank you to all my new subscribers, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.